so yeah to the, do the demo i'll uh, launch one uh, t2 micro okay because that should be enough if we want to do any demos okay so let me launch one easy to instance to launch so yeah there are uh, many options you will see in the free tier uh, uh you might choose any any uh, any ami but yeah you can choose there is an ami which has docker installed already uh, you can go with it but okay let's start from scratch let's install docker in our ami okay so i'll choose this one okay t2 micro is good for us okay uh, public ip i'll allow okay add storage everything by default i'll not do anything extra okay uh, problem let me tag it just to make sure that we are going to the right instance uh docker i'll name call it the security group i'll choose the one which we are using so this has default port 80 port 443 and those things open okay i'll go and launch interesting key pair i'll choose uh, this one okay oh not allowed so i'll connect to this instance from my putty okay uh can you see your putty screen hello yes yeah okay so here i'll just let's organize ec2 hyphen user let me increase the font size so that it becomes visible properly Make it to sixteen. Okay, let me change the color as well. Uh, default background. Let's make it white. And foreground. Let's modify it to blue. Visible. Let me make it a, a bold. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So uh, this does not have Docker installed, I guess. So if I do which Docker? Okay, it's not there. Or Docker. Iphone, Iphone version. So Docker is not installed here. Okay, so we install Docker. Okay, so the command to install Docker is like normal sudo yum install Docker. Iphone. Oh, Iphone. you install the Docker uh, on the EC2 instance, is it? Yes, yes, yes. I'm installing Docker on okay. the EC2 instance. So my host machine is going to be this EC2. Okay. So whatever uh, the physical uh, hardware, uh, mm. that will be taken from my EC2. And since mm. it is a Linux machine, so my host OS is Linux. Okay. So oh, okay. Can it be Windows as well? Or yeah, it can be Windows as well. On your Windows also, you can install a Docker tool. Uh, okay. On that also, you can do. But yeah, just check the version which uh, it 
supports. I guess Windows after okay. Windows 10 for a particular version it supports. Windows 9 and 8 I don't I don't think so it it will support. Okay, got it. Okay. Yeah, but we'll not do demos on uh, Windows. Okay, because 99% in the industry we, we uh, we'll be using Docker with uh, Linux. Okay, Windows is never used. Like you will hardly see any project in the world that is using uh, doc, uh, Docker on Windows. Okay, 99% of the places you will see it is uh, Linux machines. Okay, Linux or Ubuntu. Okay, so yeah, uh, I'll install just uh, this uh, Docker here. So again, if I do Docker version, so now Docker version twenty dot one zero dot one seven, this is installed. Okay, now I, if I do which Docker, it should show me the path where it is installed. Use slash user slash slash bin slash Docker. Okay, so I'll just clear. Okay, now let's uh, uh, start with the commands. Okay, so the first command is. to see if uh, there are images or not okay let's let's go through some of the concepts what we are having on uh, what are the what are the terminologies we will be seeing seeing okay so yesterday we discussed that uh, when we create con- so, so the, uh, we know what is our container correct on a virtual machine on any virtual machine or any in- instance we can create a container when we create a container <clears throat> so on the container Uh, we'll take we'll contain we'll, the container will contain a base image okay we'll cre- con- create a container using a base image it will have st- starting something and then on the container we can start uh, container is nothing but like a virtual machine okay but it, you can call it a advanced uh, term for a virtual machine okay something advanced so on this virtual machine that is my ec2 instance i'll i can create multiple containers okay on every container i can uh, install something or the other it depends whatever i wants to install Whatever application, whatever applications I want to install on the containers, so all these containers will be isolated. Okay, first thing, all these containers will be isolated. Second thing, images. Okay, what is an image? So yesterday I also I discussed about images in detail. So we can create an image from a running container. Okay, similar to as I create an AMI from my EC2 instance. Okay, so if I want to Create an AMI of uh, from an EC2 instance. For what I do, I just click on that EC2 instance and go to actions and just, I just create an AMI. So an AMI is created, and that AMI contains everything. Everything about that EC2 instance. What is what is the application that is installed? What is the operating system that is installed? The AMI contains that. Plus, what are the packages that are installed? That at the point of time we take the AMI. So till that point of time. that uh, that particular ami is going to contain all the details of that uh, all the snapshot of that uh, instance easy to instance okay and when we uh, run an ami it becomes an ec2 instance correct so that that's what we saw in uh, ec2s in case of virtual machines but in containers what happen containers what happens so on a running for a running container we can create an image okay image is not image is the same thing what ami is to virtual machine image docker image is to docker container okay so from a container we can create an image okay and that image will contain whatever was whatever is the situation of the container right now okay at the time we create an image that image will have everything that the container had at that particular at that point of time okay sorry i'm just uh, so you so you have installed docker mm-hmm. now you are going to create an image or it's already the image is already there no i have not created an image right now i have just installed oh, docker okay. docker is docker is docker mm-hmm. engine docker is a docker engine yeah, yeah. saw yesterday okay yeah yeah, yeah. We, fine fine we used to install that only right we had a physical hardware on the top we had uh, operating system okay on the top of operating mm. system we had docker engine okay so yeah that's correct yeah. We have installed right now. What we have installed, we have installed Docker engine. That's it. Okay. Oh, okay. Fine. Now, fine. now okay. we are going to create containers. Okay. Now we are going to create containers. 
Okay, so I'm just telling you the terms that we'll see. Okay, so images, images for that. Okay, we can create an image, and uh, similar to like in from an AMI, we can spin up an EC2 instance. Similar in the in the same way, from an image, you can create a container. Okay, so you can take make an analogy like uh, what image is to what Docker image is to Docker container, the same way uh, what AMI is to EC2 instance. Okay, the same way. Okay, uh, and okay, this was we discussed what is container, what is image, then uh, registry. Registry, I already told you, Docker Hub that we use. So registry is like a library of images. Okay, so whatever images we are creating, what the world, people in the world are creating, they can push their images on that library in that registry. Okay, when after they push it, that will be available for other people to download. Uh, 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 other people in the world to download okay so you push the image onto the registry is it correct correct mm -hmm. just like we used to it. install on the windows uh, i mean about 20 years ago mm -hmm. <laughs> i used to take that uh, install linux on uh, windows machines about mm -hmm. 20 years ago but i don't know what that mean <laughs> it should be similar concept mm -hmm. right yeah, yeah, it's, similar. That. I mean, it's similar. It's similar. Image. We used to have image of uh, Linux hmm. and install it on Windows. Correct, correct, correct. That was image. Hmm. And that contained the operating system. Okay, hmm. So that's why it was heavyweight. It was, it was not a lightweight. It was heavyweight. Thing. Yeah, this one is just the difference is that it's lightweight. Correct. It's a lightweight. So hmm. since on the, ho the host is our Linux, okay? So the host is Amazon Linux, right? If hmm. I do you know, hmm. hyphen A. So this is my Linux instance, my host. Okay, now it is all already having all the things. It is already having all the packages, right? It is already having all the Linux packages. Oh, okay. You just utilize those. Okay. Yeah, we will 95% of packages we'll utilize from it. The image that is mm. the container that we are creating, 95% of the Linux thing it will utilize from this, and just rest 5% mm. it will have its own. Okay, so that's why it is uh, very light. So that's why um, uh, these containers are very light. It spins up very quickly. We'll see that within a second. It's it's, it's uh, it spins up. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this was Docker Hub. So in on Docker Hub, if you uh, Docker Hub is library, is a registry where everyone in the world can create when can push an image, and that image can be available to an anyone. Similar to the Nexus that we studied. So Nexus is also an artifactory. Okay, Nexus is an artifactory, right? On the Nexus also you can store your images. Okay. On Nexus also, you can store your Docker images. So, it's like a, is it like a storage thing? Right. Registry? It's a database. This... Yeah, it, mm -hmm. it's a database. It's a registry. It's a mm -hmm. database, you can say. Mm -hmm. So, we know, we saw Nexus, right? In Nexus, all the artifacts used to get stored, like all the libraries and binaries that are project, all the dependencies that used to copy to Nexus, or whenever we used to create a jar of our uh, mm -hmm. uh, project, of our application, that jar also used to get stored on Nexus. Okay, now mm. whatever is stored in Nexus, why do we use Nexus? Okay, this reason is the same, correct? So that other people can also use the same dependencies and libraries. If we have, if we have created this particular jar file, we are making it available to the public, to other, if not public, other people in the team. So this is for collaboration. Okay. Mm. So Docker Hub or Nexus, these are all artifactories. Okay, ECR, if you uh, go with the AWS thing, it there is an ECR, okay, Elastic Container Repository. Okay, EC, mm -hmm. on ECR also you can store images. Okay, so these are all, all so, so these are repositories where you can store your images. Okay, now everything has a private and a public uh, uh, version of it. Like uh, for Docker Hub, you will see a private account, you can create a public account. Public account, like the whole world can see it, your image. Private account, if your images are secure, if, it will guarantee all security. Like if, there, if your images are particular to your project and you don't want to expose it to the world, you can have a private registry. Okay. Same, mm. same concept with Nexus. Okay. Nexus also had the private repository, right? So same concept as Nexus, same concept as Nexus or other, other repositories that you might have, that you might see. Okay. Okay. Now this was Docker Hub. Okay. Now, uh, uh, what else? Mm, containers, images. 
yeah there is something called docker file okay coming to how we create an image okay how do we uh, how do we create a container okay how do we create a container or an image so there can be three ways of doing that okay there can be three ways of doing that first if that particular image is available on docker hub or any registry you can just pull it okay you can just pull it and it will come in your local okay if i already have a ubuntu image on uh, on docker hub so i can pull that ubuntu image okay and it will come to me it will it will get downloaded on my laptop okay now on with that image i can run a container as it told you right when you run an image it becomes a container similar to when you run a ami it becomes a ec2 instance correct the same way you can run when you run an image it becomes a container okay so what you did you just downloaded that particular image from any repository or registry or docker hub or nexus or wherever any from ecr from anywhere you downloaded it okay and it got installed on a local okay now this is an no, image. Thing is that the image first of all you need to have an image uh so say we are a new organization you would not be having that image you would not have done anything about that hmm. so you would you download it from the if that image from uh, from docker company yeah but the base hmm. you will you will have something to start a container you will need something hmm. okay, you will need something to start it you base image that's what that's we call as that's we call base image so okay. that where will that where will you download it from i mean from docker hub. because say you are a new company you need to have those things right correct, correct. either you need to have uh, either you need to get it from docker guys right hmm. correct correct from docker hub you can download it docker hmm. hub, it's it's a library as i told you it's a library it has everything every kind of okay let me show you docker hub because then it will become more clear what is docker hub so it's a library mm mm-hmm. see it docker hub this is docker hub okay here you can register your account mm-hmm. register, sign up and do everything but i just want to find the public ones okay let's say ubuntu see we have all the so this is official this is docker image so on this on this you will see uh, which are official this is certified okay this is you will see this and for those so this is an ubuntu image look at this this has been downloaded 1 billion times okay so these are all the images that you see okay and you can start using any and you can start using any some will be verified publisher okay uh this is having ubuntu and apache 2 installed ubuntu and mysql installed okay so you can file anything ubuntu and prometheus installed okay for every anything you can find let's say you want to find an image for jenkins see jenkins is also there docker official image so the, if you download this image you can start running your jenkins mm-hmm. on your you on, on on your container when you run this image it becomes a jenkins container mm-hmm. okay anything whatever mm-hmm. you name it it's there whatever you name it nexus see nexus also is there sponsored oss nexus 3 okay for everything you have windows windows also you will have it I don't know why it is not showing a verified publisher of Windows, but even uh, 10k downloads is at Windows exporter package. Windows 10. I don't know why it is not showing, but yeah, you can uh, search it at trusted content. Okay, it is wrong. We have not filtered anything, so so uh, that's what the idea is. So on the Docker Hub, you can see all sort of all sort of images that you want to use. okay now here these images you can download it on a local okay and run a container clear so that we'll be doing 
so coming to your question uh, yeah uh, we for running anything for running a container we will need a base image okay we will need to run something right before you want to mm-hmm. let's say you want to create That's an application correct. let's say you want to create an application that is based on uh, linux operating system okay that should run on a linux operating system so we will download ubuntu image let's say or centos we can download okay that image we can download and we can run that container ubuntu container okay and in that container we can start creating an application let's say we want to in that container we want to install jenkins or we want to install nexus or we want to develop our application run some python scripts or whatever xyz whatever things you want to do you will do that on your container itself okay yeah so i told you the first way what is the first way first way is to first way is to download an image from the docker hub and start running it okay this is the first way of running the container okay creating an image okay this is also a way mm-hmm. to, uh, so if your image is if your container is running okay let's say you have uh, uh, downloaded ubuntu ubuntu image okay that we'll see in the demo you have downloaded ubuntu image okay now you install jenkins now you install git now you install xyz things in your container okay now your container was having ubuntu as a base image okay and you installed some additional things let's say you install git and nexus in that okay now after that you are creating an image you can create an image from the running container okay we'll see that in the demo now the image that you create okay will have git and nexus installed okay with the same image, if you give that image to your friend and ask him to run this as a container the container that he runs will already have ubuntu plus git plus nexus okay so this was the second way of doing it okay third way is using a docker mm-hmm. file using a docker file docker file is a file uh, docker file is a one of the most popular way you can say okay when we create our application okay when we create our application so we write a file we create a docker file we'll see that in the demo today as well so docker file consists of steps okay steps it's like a uh, uh, like all the steps it will have okay like, like uh, what is a base image i want to choose okay on that base image what do i have to run okay uh, whether i want to create a volume which port i want to expose etc all these things it will we can mention in the docker file and we when we uh, build an image using that docker file that image will have everything okay we'll see that in the demo okay you will understand mm-hmm. okay so these are the three ways of creating an image or running a container whatever you want to say okay we'll see all the, all the three ways today okay so we look at uh, some uh, commands now so these commands will be uh, very uh, you will be uh, you have to remember these commands basically when you start doing it you will easily remember it it will come in the flow okay so the first command is uh, if we want to see the number of images in my machine okay mm. what is the command for that so all the docker commands will start with docker okay all the docker commands will start with docker okay so the command will be mm. docker images very th- these commands are very easy okay with the name only you can identify what these images are what these commands are okay so it says cannot connect to docker daemon at unix okay now this means docker is not running right now okay is the docker daemon running yeah other thing uh, one more thing i forgot to tell you what is docker daemon okay docker daemon is nothing but a docker engine okay you download do you have just now downloaded docker that's it you have not started it correct so if i do system ctl status docker so it is saying inactive okay so that's why it is saying is doc is is asking is the docker daemon running because we did docker images and it did not detect docker docker daemon is like a thread you can it's an engine it's a, it's a process it's an engine okay that is doing everything okay all these docker commands that you are uh, firing here okay so all these things are uh, using uh, this engine has to run right engine docker we have just downloaded docker we have not started it 
So now what we'll do, we'll start it. Okay. So what is this command to start it? We'll do start. Fail to start Docker. Name polyget was not provided by service files. Uh, system DQL Docker dot service. Okay, what is error? Let's see what is error is saying. Why is it not installing? Or, uh, ah, I have to do sudo. Sudo, ah, sudo I need to do, sorry. Okay, now it got installed, I guess. Uh, sorry, now it got started. If I do uh, status, let's see. Okay, now it's running. Okay, I did not put sudo, that's why it was giving an error. Okay, now my Docker is Docker engine is running now. Okay, now if I do Docker images, uh, got permission denied while trying to connect to Docker. Even... Okay, let me switch to the root user. Okay, I think there are some permission issues there. I have to do sudo Docker images maybe. I'll go to the root instead of doing all these things. Yeah. It is uh, right. now these commands are working properly. I'll go to the root. Okay, I'll go to the root just to make it. I don't want to use sudo every time. Okay, I'll do uh, sudo su. Okay, now I'm as a root user. Okay, now if I do Docker images, so it is showing this, right? Because right now there is no image in my system. Okay, I do not have any image right now. So it is showing everything blank. Okay, so let's pull uh, some image. Okay, let's put pull some image. Okay, if I do Docker, so how to pull image? Pulling image is very simple. Okay, just Docker, pull, and name of the image. We saw in the, the name of the image, we can verify by going to the Docker Hub. Okay, on the Docker Hub, we saw, I'm audible, right? Yeah, yeah. Hello? Yeah, yeah, I'm audible, right? Yeah. Okay, I guess some connection issues maybe. So my laptop got hanged or what? No, we can hear you. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm just, uh, my, this has become unresponsive. I'm not able to move my cursor. I don't know what happened. Great. Oh. Hello? Am I audible now? 